Hello, new hire users in training, and welcome back to New Hire User Training. I'm Sean Little, an account manager here with the New Hire team. And in this video, we're going to learn a couple other features that you can edit within an open job application um, that we didn't cover in our last video. If you're not up to speed quite yet, our first couple of videos covered creating a new employment application, getting that first ad set up in the New Hire account, and throwing a landing page out there with your customized questions at the bottom, a logo at the top, and a nice attractive job ad in the middle. Um, it, it, the second video we covered was how to edit the job title that is listed at the top of this ad, how to edit the location that's listed at the top of the ad, and then a couple of other things including how to edit this uh, job application text here, and finally how to edit these questions and when you're allowed to edit these questions. So we covered all of that in our last video. Today I want to show you a few other things um, that you can edit in a job that will be useful to you before you advertise your first open position with us. So I'm going to go to our dashboard here and uh, so select the drop down and hit view all jobs. The dashboard is a great place in new hire to navigate if you want to edit, if you want to advertise, if you want to search candidates. That's the place to go. It's a, a great useful little tool if I need to do a couple things at a time. In the dashboard I can view my applications, all of them at once. I can see what the job titles are, where they're located, and what their job IDs are, especially uh, what account they're in. You can view all your applications, you can hit edit for all of them, the advertising features in here and so is the search page. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to hit edit here and I want to show you how to edit the automated email that goes out to candidates before you advertise or when you advertise. So the uh, candidates will land on our new hire landing page, they'll answer a few questions and they'll finally hit submit this application after attaching their resume and once they've hit submit, we have their email address, so we'll send your candidates an automated email, either with a follow-up step, say to give you a phone call or to take an assessment online, or maybe you just want to really reinforce your employment brand and tell them five great reasons why your company is a great company to work for. So what I'm going to do is go back to that edit screen. Again, I got here through the dashboard and hit edit on the job I wanted to work on. You can see I have a few links here, options to edit a few things. I'm going to hit this middle button that says auto email to candidates. And what that allows me to do is turn this auto reply setting on. It's already set to on here. Um, I'm going to have it send immediately after the candidates apply and for the purposes of this one I'm just going to hit branded template because I'd like to have a nice uh, neat logo at the top of my email for the candidates. You're going to want to enter your own email address in here and typically what I like to do is say um, Sean at and the company that I'm uh, working for so I'll do Sean at sample construction company for this one. The subject I'll uh, put is usually something like next steps in the sample construction company application. This indicates to a candidate if there are next steps that this is not just a follow up email, not just an automated response that lets them know that we got their application, but there's actually something for them to do, something for them. For them them to advance their application along in our process. So especially if you're going to have a follow-up step, make sure that subject line of your email that's being sent out to candidates in an automated way um, it has, has that next steps language or something like that inside the subject line. Um, so I'm just going to finish that out here. I'll say next steps in the sample construction company application. Every email is going to start with the, the logo, especially if I have it as a branded template, and the words hi and then the candidate's first name. So if the candidate who applies, their name is Sean Little, then it'll say hi Sean and then the body of your message here. So I might say the next steps in the sample construction company application are as follows. Um, please call 877-923-0054 and leave a message about why you're a great candidate for the position. 
So this is a sample follow-up email that you could use. Some people do for sales jobs like to um, you know, have their candidates get on the phone and be able to hear them. Uh, what we recommend is if you have a, an assessment for a candidate to take, this is a great place to put it, especially if you're licensing the assessment and can use as many as possible. Um, it, if you're not going to include some sort of next step in that follow-up email, um, Maybe you just say why Sample Construction Company is a great place to work. You have to remember that your candidates who are applying to your positions have a lot of options. The unemployment rate is currently very low and candidates have options out there. So um, showing them five reasons why your company is a great place to work um, is a great thing to do and will allow you to really cement in to those candidates and in their mind uh, why they'll want to uh, come work for your company. So there's a couple options that you can do there. Um, obviously this text editor is um, is pretty easy to use. You can create bulleted lists here um, pretty simply. You can uh, create numbered lists pretty simply and um, kind of go from there. Um, any links you can add using this link button there. And as always, you can copy and paste things into this box using the control C and control V keys on your keyboard. So this is the sample that I created. I just set it up like so. I'm gonna hit submit. And uh, what happens from there is that new hire allows me to send a preview email to myself so that I can see uh, what that email looks like. So I'm just gonna send that to Sean at new-hire.com, that's me. And um, we'll see what comes out of that and make sure that it looks the way I want it to look and that the, the logo is where I want it to be and everything like that. So I'm just gonna hit send preview and you'll see that it says message sent successfully. And if I go to my Gmail account, I should be able to see that, um, that I'm sorry, that email pretty easily. Um, so let me just log in here and for the purposes of this video, actually show you what it looks like. No peeking on my password. Here we go, I'm just logging into my system here and you can see new from the new hire mailer, why Sample Construction Company is a great place to work. And uh, right here you can see that it has the logo here at the top. It'll say hi first name, five reasons why Sample Construction Company is a great place to work. There's my list and then it says to respond to this email, click reply and use the job ID in reference to the position. And it actually gives them a link to that open application that we have um, to allow them to see the position that they're applied to. So that's a nice little feature. It, it keeps candidates on the ball. And that's how you edit that auto email inside the new hire system. And it's a great place to do it. And it's a great little feature, especially if you have a next step or a follow-up step. So just to recap, you'd go to the dashboard, hit view all jobs, hit edit, and go to auto email to candidates. There are a few other features in this edit screen that are gonna be useful to you, including the display status, which you can turn on or off on your uh, company job board. So um, I'm gonna set this to display on the sample construction company job board. And once I click over to that job board, you should see it update as soon as I hit refresh. So we don't see the sales inside sales representative ad that I had posted on this company's careers page quite yet, but I'm gonna hit reload here. And what do you know? Inside sales representative is the third job listed. And that job has been added to this company uh, careers page. You all have a careers page just like this if you're signed up with new hire. Um, so we can get you set up and have this on your website. It'll actually link to your homepage here and a little contact us button is also included so that folks can get in touch with you if you'd like them to be able to. Um, but it's a nice nifty little thing here. If you have more than four jobs, if you have 10 or 12, there's even a search bar for candidates. So it's a great place to keep track of your open position so that you're not constantly updating your website site. Um, so that's an option there. It's part of the edit screen. Um, again, I got there from dashboard view all jobs and I hit edit. Um, so you can change the display status there. You can view your advertising, you can archive your candidates. The other thing I want to do is show you how to do application availability. 
So you can change whether or not this job is accepting applicants, um, and that's a great place to do that. Uh, if you decided that the, you're no longer filling the position or you have filled the position, um, you can go to application availability here and click that to not available for applying and hit update. And that'll turn this landing page, this inside sales representative landing page, into an unavailable for applying landing page so that if anyone lands on it, they won't be able to apply. They'll just hit a page that says, sorry, that job is no longer available. So it turns from this nice, beautiful landing page to this. Um, and that's pretty simple there. Um, so you can always edit that. I'm just gonna return to our edit screen here. And what you've seen in this video is how to edit the auto emailer how to change the display status on your company careers page, and finally, how to edit the application availability. There are a few other things that you're able to do in this edit screen. We'll cover, cover in another video, uh, but I hope that this was helpful. And again, I'm Sean Little. As always, happy hiring.